Hey, how's it going, guys? Happy Monday. Thanks for stopping by. Check out Buddy Bear. I got him out in the spotlight today. Actually, I found that that USB light bulb uh, in a basket. I totally forgot I even had it. It's way better than my other USB light. It's about five times as bright, and it takes, you know, a very small amount of battery power to run it. And now that the days are getting shorter, you know, I find myself needing a little more light in here in the evening uh, much earlier. So, uh, let's get into it. I totally forgot to tell you guys what's it been about two and a half weeks ago. Um, I got this van a year ago, um, in middle of September of 2018. So here it is October the 7th, I guess. And I, it totally slipped my mind. So it's, uh, been about a, a year and two weeks now since I've had the van. Of course, I didn't live in live in it immediately. I didn't move in it full time until late January. So it gave me, uh, you know, several months to get things prepared in it. And it's a good thing I had that long because back then I was working even more hours than I'm working now. And I'm working quite a bit again now. So um, I had all that time to get things prepared. And uh, it's funny. I've been in this van uh, coming up on eight and a half months now and I'm just now getting just the cabinet situated the way I like like I just moved this cabinet up here on the top it's a uh, it's a strange thing to think about that it's taken me this long just to get things kind of uh, figured out where they work the best and where they don't work so well at so I'm really glad looking back on it that I didn't do a super build out to begin with because I would have been disassembling and reassembling stuff in different locations about three or four times by now. So, uh, I take it for what it's worth. It's just my little uh, humble opinion, but you might not want to build your van out totally completely before you live in it for a while just to kind of figure out, you know, where just because some other van dweller has a cabinet over here doesn't mean it's going to work for you you know so yeah it's been a constant uh shuffle in here shuffling things around about every couple of months but i think right now is the best organized and functional space that i have created in here since day one without a doubt this is the most functional space I had actually taken my water jug, you can barely see the blue jug here, it's sitting on top of that filing cabinet. The drawer opens up out of that filing cabinet, I tilt the jug over, put a basin down in that cabinet, and it becomes my sink. Well for a short time I had moved the jug over here on the floor, and you know I just got tired of fighting with that jug, lifting it up, and pouring the water in the basin and all that, it was so much easier just to tip it off the uh, edge of that filing cabinet. So I put it back the way I had it originally. So, you know, there's some things you're going to have right from the start. And then other things you'll figure out, you know, you can do better and you'll change it up. So, but isn't that exciting to think about? Had this van over a year. A year and, uh, let's say, a year and two and a half weeks. Let's just, I don't remember the exact day, but it was mid to late September. And man, was that a happy day. Driving off the lot, you know, I bought it used from a dealer, but it was only uh, a year old. It only had 13,000 miles on it. So let's see how many miles I've put on here um, in a year. 21,900 now. So uh, not even 10,000 miles. So way to go. Way to go. That is great. You know, in a lot of these miles that are on here, I actually took a trip about uh, three or four weeks after I bought the van. I took a trip over to the mountains of Gatlinburg, Tennessee, and stayed two days over there. And back in those days, all I had in the back was a water jug and the bed. And I didn't even have that mattress. I had some other kind of little pad at the time. I had uh, one cabinet in here. And, uh, gosh, uh, of course I didn't have the fan. 
didn't have uh, I had one little battery powered thing that lasted about four hours most of the time I just charged up everything off the ports in the dash here but man what a year it's been goodness looking back at that it it, it actually seems longer than a year that seems like that's been almost two years but no just over a year and uh, my dream of you know living in this van and traveling is closer every day back then it seemed so far away I mean think about when I had the apartment you know and I had the that little uh, Honda Accord I was leasing and trying to figure out how to get out of that apartment and get out of that car lease and looking back at that man that was some tough times that was some dark days in my life I was emotionally a mess because like I said in the other video a while back I didn't see any light at the end of the tunnel I see it now guys I've been patient I've done everything uh, by the book about it's planning as well as I can plan to make this a reality because you know right now yeah I'm working every day and like I have my entire adult life and over eight hours a day and I just got to keep reminding myself this is a temporary position and I'm looking at it as a positive it's given me the opportunity to build the wealth I need to uh, to meet that money goal that I have in mind and it's going to be a big cushion because surprises come along the way and I don't want to be stranded without any money so I am going to keep on keeping on keep on working these long hours for the next short foreseeable future um, I don't see anything changing in 2019 let's put it that way 2020 however uh, we're going to be rounding third base and sliding into home as far as meeting my goal and uh, just to think about it just just makes me feel better it's very uplifting just to see that all this work is paying off it really is and you know it's nothing sadder to see somebody work 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 and then it just not pay off for them that is a sad thing to see and unfortunately it happens to many of us but see how I just breathe deeper when I talk about it when I talk about the future is bright even though the present is you know it's it's not bad not bad not saying it's bad at all don't want to come off as a whiner I got this beautiful budget van I built I got buddy bear going on hanging out in my sock basket uh, and uh, it's it's a beautiful life especially if you have something to look forward to when you see someone who's in depression and you see that you know they don't have anything to look forward to in life that is the saddest situation I can think of other than being physically sick you know emotionally sick is not it's not good either but uh, it's pretty good for a Monday. Look at Buddy, you know. He loves the Mondays. Because he just hangs out in the van and waits for me to get off work, come out here and put him up in the basket. <laughs> That's how he spends his days. So uh, the batteries are nice and neat now under the battery cover. You know, we taught that little, that little thing. I was half asleep when I made that video, by the way. Sorry, I should delete it. Worst video ever. I am so embarrassed about that video. The one right before this one. Half asleep on what was it a Sunday morning? I should have stayed in the bed. But anyway, uh, yeah, you deserve better than a video like that. That was total, total crap. Uh, okay, guys, that's all we got to talk about today. Just uh, keep a positive outlook. Uh, be well and smash the bell. Bye, guys.